In the past week, there's been an outbreak of anti-U.S. violence across the Middle East, which is sparked by the release of an anti-Islamic film. Now, there's been speculation as to whether this film was released as an intentional instigation, and there's been condemnation sent in the direction of both the filmmaker and the writers, but so far I haven't seen anyone addressing the real root of the issue. Now, first of all, it's highly dishonest to talk about any violence in Libya or anywhere in the Middle East without acknowledging that none of this would be happening if the U.S. and NATO weren't bombing all over the Middle East on a daily basis, and if they hadn't armed religious extremists to help topple governments that didn't cooperate with U.S. interests. Now, a big part of the distraction in this debate centers on whether it was the filmmaker who was in the wrong. Personally, I feel it was unfortunate that this film was used as the excuse for the flare-up. There were plenty of other perfectly valid reasons for them to riot. The U.S. is conducting military operations all over the Middle East, and civilians are dying as a result. Men, women, children. Their lives are being destroyed on your dime. They have the right to be enraged. They have the right to fight back. It's the height of arrogance to think that we should be able to bomb them to smithereens, then act indignant when one of our embassies comes under attack. Until the U.S. pulls out completely from the Middle East, no one has any business complaining about any of the retaliations that may follow. The U.S. is not a moral authority. They don't follow the ideals that they preach on the international level. And until they do, they have no right to intervene in any conflict anywhere on the planet. As such, you should not act surprised when the holy wars that the mainstream media sells the public results in violence and chaos for many years to come. The problem is not offensive words. The problem is offensive wars.